Again tonight with Education Matters, students at Underhill ID Elementary School will soon be going to class in a different school. Yeah, this comes after the school board voted to repurpose the school due to low enrollment. Local 22's Courtney Kramer has more on the reconfiguration, speaking with parents who say they're heartbroken. This is the last year parents will drop their children off at Underhill ID Elementary School. Beginning in the fall of 2019, students will be reassigned to two other elementary schools in the district. The school board deciding to repurpose the school after a study found enrollment has decreased by nearly 40% over the last 25 years, creating excess underused space. It was not about money, but it was about how can we um, best meet the needs of students, benefit students, and also optimize precious resources. Superintendent John Alberghini says the 90 students who currently attend UID will head to Underhill Central School and Jericho Elementary School in the fall. Families will have a choice on which school their kids will attend, limited to building capacity. It'll then be determined by property lines. There were a lot of tears the day after the vote happened. Kara Clopton has a third grader at Underhill ID. She moved to Vermont from Texas specifically for the smaller schools. Clopton and other parents formed a support Underhill ID petition and Facebook group. UID is a culture that you can't replace. Why squash something that is thriving? The school says students will have greater access to guidance, nursing, and library services, but that doesn't ease Kara, who says parents have been left in the dark throughout the process. We don't, we don't even know which children are going to end up at which school. My personal child is destroyed. She's so connected to the children that she goes to school with. Superintendent Alberghini says the school is creating a task force to help make the transition as seamless as possible. Our goal right now is to listen, be thoughtful, um, and try to answer as many of the questions as we can. Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News, Underhill. We're told the building will house the school district's central offices and its preschool program.